Good afternoon. Today we're going to discuss the differences between some soldering irons and soldering stations. Soldering iron, which has been around for ages, has a heater and it heats up the tip and you melt your solder. This is ideal for wiring, either automotive or household, but the problem is, is that you do not know the temperature of the tip. You know it melts solder, but that's all you know. The, when you try to solder the uh, electronics, you know, electronic boards, TV boards, uh, and things like that, you need to know what the tip temperature is because otherwise you will burn up the board. These are examples of two soldering stations. And these, you set a, a knob here that tells you what the temperature of this tip is and that stays at that same temperature. So you don't burn up your boards and it has another advantage too is that if I'm doing regular soldering I want the tip at 700 degrees F or 350 degrees uh, Celsius. If I'm working on some of the newer TVs that use the non-lead solder they require higher temperature. I can dial this up and go up to the 400 or uh, 400 degrees C or 800 degrees F for the um, that type of solder. Biggest difference between these you notice is the base. This one is 25 watts which is fine for most almost all electronic soldering and is um, a good price for what you're getting. This one is an excellent uh, uh, unit for all uses. It's got 65 watts behind it. The 65 watts are not needed to hold the temperature. The 65 watts are needed that if I go into a joint with the soldering iron, like for desoldering, and the um, area is so the joint is so massive that it sucks all the heat out of this one will recover much faster to the temperature I have set than this one. This one also comes with a particular soldering uh, tip which is a good general purpose tip but that's the only type you can use in this iron. This station the tip can be, can be replaced so you can have a, ho uh, a whole range of different tips that you use and should you drop the iron and break the element in there, you can replace that where you cannot replace it here. So, very simply, is we have a larger iron or larger station that has more power to recover the temperature. It'll come up to temperature faster. We have a good general purpose unit that will do most of the soldering you need. And we have the soldering iron, which is what most people are familiar with, a good solution for wiring and a low-cost solution for wiring. Well, thank you for uh, watching. We'll see you next week.